So this is the demo that shows you how you can use um, composite view object and actually enter a name instead of a code and get the code populated. So it's kind of a reverse of what you usually do with code fields. So for the demo we're actually starting from an existing application that you can see in a related video that shows how to do um, the code lookup automatically. And basically what we have is we have a view object called empt with depth that has two, is based on two entity objects. There's the employee entity object um, and the employee is actually the updatable um, entity and the other one is the department entity and the department is just there for reference so we can get the department name right so in the list of attributes of the field you'll see basically all the fields of the employee or some of the fields of the employee plus a field called department name which gives you um, the translation of the department ID so what I'm going to do now is start by defining a list of value for the department name. So I'm going to the department name, clicking list of value, and I'm going to create a new one. Okay. Uh, we can call it a uh, depth name LOV, for example. And we're going to add a data source here, which is the department's view. Okay. This actually creates an accessor at the view level. And we're going to use the department name okay, as the list attribute. And we can see that we are actually returning two things, the department name and the department ID. Next thing is in the UI hints, in the choice list, I'm going to switch it to be input, input text with list of values. And what I'm going to show there is the department name. And then I'm just going to click OK. So that's the setting on the view object side. And now let's go over and actually create a new JSF page. like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take from the data control the new view object and drag and drop it into the page and drop it as a form. And you'll see that the department name is going to appear as a list of value input component which is exactly what I want. And we can add navigation controls and submit button if we want to. And the next thing I want to do is I actually want to define a dependency from the department name field to the department IDs. Uh, basically a partial page refresh. So, for the department name, I'm going to look up the auto submit property, turn it to two. Okay. And then for each one of the department IDs, I'm going to look up the partial trigger property. And you can see that the first one already has this dependency. A dependency. We'll do it for the second one as well. Okay. Click save and let's run our page. So when the page comes up I can now go over to the department name and I can type sales tab out and you can see the department ID being updated. I can also by the way do it with a list of value so I can actually click the list of value button do a search find the department click OK and I get the values in here so the one tricky part here is that um, when you're typing it, there's a big chance that you'll actually do um, some error while typing. So you probably want to help people actually when they're typing to type in the right name of the department. And this is where the auto-suggest behaviors becomes very useful. Okay, so let's switch over to the page again. And what we're going to do is we're going to take an operation component called auto suggest behavior and we're going to drag and drop it on top of the text field like that and what we need to provide here is a suggested item list and to do that we're going to um, use our expression builder look up under binding 
for the department name, we can see the suggested item function. Now one thing to note, this is new in 11.1.2, and um, the fact that you can actually see this, but the same syntax will apply in previous versions of JDeveloper 11G. Okay, so we add this to the component, click Save, compile everything, go back to our browser, and reload the page. Now when the user comes over and starts typing something, like M, he can see a list of the v valid values and he can change something, right? Similarly, and the ID changes as well, and there's less chance of a mistype of the name of the department. So that's it.